Hello and welcome to my craft room with Troda. Today we're going to do Roxy's Weekly Challenge, Week 9, and it's fun uh, flips uh, made out of junk mail envelopes. So I've got a different little idea, of course, you know, I go rogue on her idea. So we're going to work on that. Plus I copied a, a page out of a cross stitch book that I've got because I'm going to make this for my... Uh, Lighthouse journal. It's kind of lighthouse um, by the sea, kind of vintage, retro kind of thing. Anyway, <laughs> um, let's get to work. And I'm going to cut this piece out here. And uh, we are going to figure out how to decorate it. Thank you, thank you for everybody that's come to watch me. Um, I really, really appreciate it. And I'm getting so much, um, so many uh, new subscribers and so much uh, attention on here from everyone. I'm so, so happy. Um, and I hope you get something out of it too. I really would like for everyone to get some inspiration from me or something I've done. That kind of thing. So I'm going to go in here and cut the edge off of this. It seems like you dismantle the whole envelope and you're only using the front window part. Ugh, I think that's chewing it up. Maybe I'll go for the scissors. <laughs> so we're going to just cut this part off right here. Ugh, I really mauled that, didn't I? <laughs> I might have to go down there and find another one. We'll make it work. We'll just keep trimming it. There we go. Because we don't want it to go in the trash can, do we? That's the whole purpose of this. And I'm going to cover it up probably with my... Uh, cover paper so we're fine now the width of my little guy and see you can even use that for a little pocket if you wanted to the width of my envelope is going to end up being three and a half I believe because I think I cut it off down there <laughs> whoopsie yeah three and a half so what the whole idea is I've got two 12 by 12s that I had cut down and this is one, and this is another. Now, these two are going to be part of my idea that I have for this after we've got it decorated. So, I'm going to set those to the side. And the piece that I cut off was this one. That's going to become my front cover. And I've got to figure out how to cut my window out. And then I've got this for the back piece to cover the back piece. This is for my pocket. And this is for the back of the tag, which... The whole idea is to have a pocket and a tag that has the item shining through, which will be these uh, pretty little lighthouses. So let me keep chopping on this and let me go all the way around the outside. I think that top is open and then I'll cut this off and then we'll have our piece detached. When I went down to the shop today where my journals are being sold none have sold yet so I've been open three days but I have a lady that's really interested in one of my sewing journals I posted those not long ago on my YouTube channel here now you can save this part and do something else with it it can become a base pockets or something for a future project we're going to set those aside and then we have this piece and we're going to straighten that up for one, but we're going to figure out how to get our, get down to the nitty gritty here, but <laughs> get our impression here for how we want our window to come out. I believe Jolene uh, from A Jewel Design did this on her video the other day, and she used a one of those shapers with a ball on it sorry i'm walking around here to get my get my little ball tool here there we go now let's try this and i just want to make sure i've got that lined up on the side and what it'll do is it's putting the impression in of where i need to cut this and then once i get this one done i can go through on my next piece and just copy it. I'm not. I'm trying not to push too hard. I think she pushed too hard on one of hers, and it it broke through the uh, 
the plastic here. But hers has like a pointy end on it. And I don't think mine's got a pointy end. Now let's see if that made an impression. <laughs> I, can't, I didn't press hard enough, I, su I suppose. Well, I'll tell you what, we're gonna do, we're gonna do my method. That method probably does work. I just didn't wanna push too hard. So my method is, get my pencil. What do I do with my pencil? Here it is. And where's the window? Okay, now what I usually do is this. I just kind of go down through here. This is gonna be covered. The, you're not gonna see the, the back of this paper. So it doesn't matter that you're putting graphite all over it. <laughs> graphite. I used to draw, I, I love to do pencil drawings a lot. Law all the time, way back in my salad days. Okay, now can you see how that came through? Pretty neat. That's <laughs> as, as painless as it gets. All right, let's put us a little hole right there and start digging in. I'm going to try to save what I can of that. Well, I didn't think it was going to get that shell, but I guess it is. Well, I'm going to lose some of my shell. Oh, well. Okay, so Rasta Raw. And I have to clean some scissors. <laughs> scissors got all kinds of stuff growing on them. All right. But anyhow, I went by the shop and it's shaping up nicely there. It's been open about three days. I've had a lady come in and is really attached to one of my journals. She's waiting for payday. I'm, I'm crossing my fingers and toes that she'll get to still loving it and <laughs> want to still get it. I'm trying to stay within within my line here because I don't want to make it too big. So I don't have to adjust anything or go around the edge and ink or anything along those lines. Okay, now finish this off and then I'm going to show you how I'm going to get it oops, to the next piece. My poor little shell. Lost some of this goody. Okay, now that's good enough. I need to probably cut that down. I'll do that after we get done. And this piece, this piece is to go, wait a minute, this piece is to go this way. This piece, we don't have to worry about. That part is going to be hidden. And so, so we've got to go this way. Well, I'll turn around this way because of that white strip. So now we're going to get it balanced back up again. And we're going to use a pencil to trace the hole. I can see it's a little crooked, but I'm hoping the the beautiful shell keeps your eye <laughs> from, seeing how, from seeing how crooked I cut that that out. <laughs> oh well. All right. Now we're going to cut this out and poke me a hole in it. Get it started. That's probably where that crooked part come from because it's, it's kind of hard to start it. That was a lighter paper. This is a heavier. Let's see about using my ruler. Hopefully I don't get in here and mess anything up. It'll get to, get to like that. At least get it started and do the straight sides. That'll work. And then I'm going to do this end. And this end. I'm trying to stay just within the, the line. All right, let's see how we can finish this off now. I think it's about time I change my little stinky tag there because it's got so much. Uh, what you call it on it? Um, fabric tack. It is horrible. 
Okay. I hope I'm not out of screen. I'm sorry. I'm always wanting to pull it up to my chest. Maybe because my eyes aren't that great. I do have an appointment. <laughs> I got an appointment at the eye place. Should go and get them checked. And probably get new glasses. I'm sure I need them. You know, it's pretty bad when you got to take your glasses off more often than not to see with, you know. I see stuff close up better without glasses. I, uh, I often wanted to be one of those people that's got the far off vision and then they can't see close up, but I don't know. I don't know which, what do you think is the better vision? Some of you that's got good vision, you don't have to worry about this, but us that that have bad vision we have to think about this all the time all right so what we're doing here is gluing this down now i made sure that this is eight and a half by eleven where's my well i mean eight and a half <laughs> sorry i made sure it was eight and a half tall because it's going that's the highest my pages will be in my journal all right, so what we're going to do is we're going to go around here. I need to, to cut that off. Get that out of the way. And then I'll make sure that's still the width that I need it to be. Ugh. I got out of the track. And that didn't want to come off there. All right. And the way I'm wanting to do this, I'm still thinking about it. And how it's going to work. And I'm only going to say, I hope it works. I don't know if it will. There's only a possibility. <laughs> All right. Now, where was my mark? Right there. All right. I think I can cut that down a little bit because of that chew right there. I'm going over to the, the cutter. Okay. <laughs> I cut that straight, but... The top or the bottom is a little off, so we'll come back to that. And this hole is a little bit bigger than I was desiring. So we're going to go in with a little bit of our... Oh, this is... Yeah, that's the brown one. Our uh, espresso, ground espresso. And we're just going to kind of work, work a little bit of ink on there just to darken it. I don't want that white glaring out at me. And I did this the other day without covering this window, and it got ink on it, and <laughs> it wouldn't come off. So this is just a little warning to try to cover your your plastic. Oh, I'm probably shaking my whole filming arm up there. Though my filming arm is a Swiffer sweeper. <laughs> If you haven't seen my video, it's a uh, short. It's one of my, it's my very first short, actually. And I got so many uh, views on that thing. I don't know what they thought they were going to see, but <laughs> they saw it. Exactly how I film. All right. Now, this is Finito. And now we're going to um, glue on this, and I'm going to go ahead and glue it with my Barely Arts, because I want it to stick. So what we're going to do first is just get in here. I could go glue stick, but I'm not going to worry about it. I'm not going to worry about it. I think I can get this on here before the glue goes dry. At least I'm hoping. Okay. And <clears throat> just getting around the window. <laughs> getting around the window, not on the window, is the worst part. Okay. We can always repair some spots. Ooh, just did it again. Okay. <laughs> you don't want to get too close to that window because when I go to press this down, it's going to seep into there. I don't want it seeping. Okay, get around my window as close as I can always trim down. All right, and I'm going to push a 
oops, I don't want to push too hard away because I'm going to rip something. <laughs> and then I'll be mad with myself. All right. I've got a little bit already seeping out there. Okay. So I think that might be done. Now we just got to trim. I got a little tiny bit of brown up there, but I think I'm I'm going to come in there with a marker. Sometimes you can put a marker in there a lot easier than trying to get back in with ink. Okay, we're going to cut this edge down. It was a, it was a little crooked anyway. We didn't need it. I'm not, I think, I think uh, Roxy said she got this idea for maybe Carol Laws, in case you're wondering where the actual uh, first person was that it came from. We call that um, kind of just providence, providence. In genealogy, like if you find an old photo, you want to record whose old photo that is. So you knew how who it originally came from, and uh, well, dummy me, I had this thing turn around the wrong way. No wonder it was too long on one side. Okay, so we're getting in here on this side now and putting more glue to put our other side down. Ugh, I'm getting that stuff everywhere. Okay, around here. Whoops. See, some people's glue just flows right out of their bottle. Mine doesn't. I get a little thin strip, which, you know, makes it go a long way. There we go. Let's see if we can get that on here. Where we want it to be. Okay, I think it's I think it's about in the right spot. I love this little masher. Oh, I got glue here. Didn't want. <laughs> oh, there we go. Now, now we just have to trim again. And make sure we got around all the outside. Yep, I believe we have. Oh, and look, you can see it from the other side. Whoopsie. <laughs> and you just have to be careful. I'm not going to have any problem with it. It's, it is what it is. It's the first time I think I've done anything like this. Usually, you use the envelope. Cut that down a little bit more, and I can ink the edge, but I might not. I haven't decided if I'm inking the book, and sometimes you don't want them all to be the same look carried throughout. Okay, we're good there. Now, we're going to put our, whoop. sorry, I had to get my thumb punch there. So now we're going to measure out our pocket to put on the back side, which is this side. Yeah. And that's going to hold my little cord in there. So let me, well, I don't think I have to do that. If that's exactly where I want it to be, all I need to do is turn it over and do like this. There we go. Now I just need to push a hole in it, like a thumb, thumb punch pull. And then we're going to glue it down. I hope everyone is doing well.
doing fabulous, doing crafting, doing, doing, doing. It's springtime. My mom's out doing, she's getting her gardens ready. She's got all kinds of flower gardens, umpteen of them. Okay, I'm going to put this right here and make sure it's down. Whoops, I think I was off screen, sorry. I was just pushing it down and I'm going to give it a little bit of a lift by pushing the two corners that way. There we go. Now, we got most of that done. Now we got to do our tag. And then I'll try to show you what I've got plans on to put this together. Our tag we want to have right there. Mm. Sorry, we had a catastrophe out there. <laughs> One of our cats was still outside and it's already dark. Didn't want nothing to happen to my little baby. All right, the only thing is the pocket. It's glued on that one edge. And I'm only getting over. See, I got a, what is that, a quarter of an inch? I do need to cut that down a little bit. <laughs> um, let me mark that. But I have only. What is that? I think that's a quarter of an inch. Okay. So, whatever we put down here, we have to leave a quarter of an inch before the tag starts. Hmm. I love that one. That look. That reminds me. These are the, looks like the Outer Banks Lighthouses, because that's uh, Bodie. That's Curry Tuck. If it was all brick, that would be the one up in, uh, no, that's Curry Tuck. Anyway, <laughs> I'm not sure which ones I'm wanting. We're just going to let it, let it go. <laughs> Wherever it lands, it lands. Let me cut this out. And... I'm going to have to put me a, a background paper on here because I don't want these words and things to show. Now all this I'm cutting off, I'm going to stick it over in my uh, scrap bin and it'll become the back of tags and stuff like that. I mean, I use everything. Especially if I have something that's printed out on Graylin. <laughs> I told you that door was creaky, Graylin. You weren't supposed to come in. <laughs> but I'll have something on copy paper. It prints off really nice. All right. Then again, do we want it to stay white? I don't know. I don't know. I'm, I think I like it white because that really makes those lighthouses stand out. All right, so, and where I put this in, I'm going to judge how tall it needs to be. <laughs> and I, I picked this because of the planking. You know, you see the boardwalk's made out of planking and stuff like that. I thought that might be the way to go. Kind of a beach look. All right, we're going to just go... Down through here like this. Maybe a little bit a little further. <laughs> Get a little straighter. I'd be better off if I was to go over there and use the cutter on it. I may have to put a pull on it, but I'll wait and see what I come up with later. Okay, now we're going to put this dead center, right? Yeah, dead center. I'm not going to worry about it. It going dead center. It's kind of like one of those mystery cuts, you know, where you see somebody do a collage and then they, they turn it over and they'll do a mystery cut 
and they don't know what they got and they turn it over to see how good or bad they did <laughs> sometimes i think they they may have should have looked <laughs> but that's to each their own right to each their own i'm wanting to make sure that i don't have any I'm going to move up a little bit if it'll give me a little wiggle room. Just a little bit. I just don't want any of um, any of that white to show through my window. Okay. There we go. Let's see what I get. Let's do the mystery swap thing here. <laughs> okay, that's as far over as I can go. I gotta get in here and ink that white core. That's the only thing I don't like. Oh, well, I should have maybe gone over it a little bit, but I can live with it. Actually, I could probably cut a little bit off of it. <laughs> That's how we could fix it. I'll cut a little bit off of each side. Now, before I put the tag back in here, we're going to experiment. Remember me telling you about this? and how I was going to attach it. Well, with my butterfly journal, I usually had to do two pages when they were one-sided, back to back. And what I'm thinking here is to score it on my line there, but then I'm gonna put it in between and glue it all down. And my thoughts was, it could swing either way. Now see, I've got the blue with the, the sand and the sand with the blue. So we're gonna see if that'll work. Let me get in here and score everybody. I need to fold these and glue these together and score this and glue it in between and I'll be back to show you if it works. Okay, so far I was gonna let you see what I did. I've got the blue on the back and the thinner paper is on the front and let me advise to always do a little slit down through the middle because I, you always get a bubble. Every time you try to bend it, you get a bubble. So I had to get in there and actually fix it. And I still might have to fix a little bit here because I can see it bubbling there. But otherwise, I'm, I'm safe. I can get in there with the nose of my glue now since I cut that. But I left this little piece at the end. And this is where we're going to go in with the glue on either side. I'll glue one side first and then I'll flip it and do the other side. I'll be right back. Okay, the big reveal. <laughs> I've cut down my journal card so you can see the, the lighthouse is in there. I might have to cut a little bit more off the top but uh, or the bottom. Anyhow, so that's what you'll see and I didn't plan on it but the, the sand with the sand works out. And if you're on this side it would be where it could swing this way. So that was my idea. I mean, you can see the plank. You've got the board. It almost looks like, you know, where the seagulls land on top of the planks in the water. So that was my whole idea here. I may should have thought about putting a little washi on that. I forgot all about it. <laughs> but you know how it is in the throes of creation. Well, I thank you uh, for coming to see what I got up to. And try to do what uh, <laughs> I suggest, and not just jump ahead like I do. But everybody have a great day, and thank you all to my subscribers and watchers. Have a great, wonderful day.